Hello, welcome to Oracle DBA02 Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about data segment. So we have four segment types. Uh, we're going to discuss the first type in this tutorial, that is data segment. Okay. So first of all, what's a table? The table is a database object that stores data. Okay. Here's an example of a table. The table has columns. Okay. And table has rows. And we have values at each cell in the table okay so this is just a visual representation of a table because it's a virtual object it's not a very uh, it's not a physical object at the back end when you create a table it goes in one of the data files as we already know okay so every table that resides uh, that you create in a, in a database resides in a single segment consists of one or more extents okay so however Op optionally you can create partition tables or clustered if you create a partition table the ta table will go in more than one segment okay what's the uh, advantage of creating a partition table the advantage is that you can place one segment in one file data file and another segment in a separate file and both of these files will reside in a different disk okay so that way both of the uh, disk can be read in parallel and you can do a full table scan uh, in half the time as you would do a full table scan if the table would be residing in one disk okay because there's a certain input output that can happen on a hard disk but if the same table is sitting on two two disks you can read a uh, table twice as fast okay so that's what partitioning is okay uh, there's a, a data type in oracle called LOB LOB stands for large object okay the data segment also include LOB segments what is LOB segment okay so you can choose to uh, store LOB values in their own segment for example you created this table this whole table is residing in this segment as you see at the top and all the data in this table is of course sitting in the, in the segment as well this se segment basically belongs to this table because we have we already know when you create a table a uh, segment is created and the the whole uh, data basically goes in that segment unless you partition the table but if you have a lob column in a table you can choose to store lob value in a separate segment they are very large values for example the whole word document can be a lob the whole excel sheet can be an lob they could go in like gigabytes right so uh, you can optionally choose to store them in a separate segment okay so lob stand for large objects LOB segment store LOB data referenced by LOB locator column in a table segment if LOB is not stored in line in the table you can optionally choose to store LOB in a separate segment as well as you can choose not to have a separate segment for LOB in that case what would happen is LOB would value will also go in the same segment or same original segment that belongs to the table okay so in this case you didn't choose to cho uh, store LOB in their own segment so LOB segment also uh, belongs to this type of segment called a data segment okay so that's pretty much it about the data segment I see you in the next tutorial